Hello. Um, so some time ago I uh, did a teardown of these um, Russian ID1 um, dosimeter pens. Um, if you've not seen that video, I'll link it into the description on this one. Uh, but uh, that was quite an interesting video taking one of these apart. Um, in that video I also um, promised I would uh, take apart the charging unit as well uh, because that uh, might prove interesting you know, given it, it's based on piezoelectric uh, technology so the actual um, mechanical force by the user um, generates um, enough current to um, to charge up the, uh, the fibre in the pen. So uh, let's have a quick look around this and uh, we'll take it apart and uh, see what it looks like inside. Okay, so if we have a look at the uh, cutaway drawing that we've got in the uh, the user guide, um, you can see here we've got uh, we've got uh, the knob at, at the top. Um, this bit here is the piezoelectric elements. It says there's four pieces um, which are compressed by a lever. So I'm not sure how much of this we'll actually be able to see, or whether it'll just be. Um, a, a single unit which I would have to take apart further which I'm actually reluctant to do because if I do that I will probably won't ever be able to charge these um, these pens up. Um, so you've got uh, the charging prong which the pen attaches to, um, the mirror just here and uh, this device here which is intriguingly called a um, an arrester. Um, so I'm not quite sure what that is so uh, that should prove an interesting one when we come to look at it. Right, so uh, taking a look at this, we've got uh, um, three screws in the top here. We've got a screw holding on the, uh, the knob, and underneath we've got uh, we've got eight screws. Um, and it also looks like there's um, sealing marks in these two screw holes, which do actually have uh, some text printed in them. Okay, so what I'm going to do is just see what this actually is, it feels, it's quite soft actually, I think it's wax. So I should be able to get my screwdriver in here. Okay, so there's not much to see in this part here. We've got this which is quite solidly mounted in there. Spring electrode. So Yeah, looking down in here, it looks like that spring contact is just making, just touching this the side of the uh, the pizza electric part.
Okay, so we've got a plastic base. Okay, so this is all um, quite uh, quite well insulated actually. There's a lot of plastic around here, um, and we've got um, a glass device in this part here, and that was the part that was that was described as the um, arrester. Okay, this looks like it's got a cap on it. Okay, so we've got a glass, glass device with a very flat top, two electrodes inside. Okay, uh, just taking a, a close look at this, um, there's only two connections to it. One is um, um, connected to the, the bar that actually goes to charge up the, uh, the pen, and um, the other side... Um, connects to this down in here, which in turn is t attached to the top um, here. So I think what this is, or what it, I mean, what this looks like inside, there's um, as I said, there's two electrodes. One is just a plain piece of wire. The other looks like it's a um, a filament from an old. Um, um, filament bulb. Here you can see, you can, should just be able to see a coiled coil above that uh, first electrode. So I would suspect this is simply just a spark gap at a, at a guess. Um, when the, uh, if the voltage uh, gets, gets too high it just breaks down over the spark gap. And uh, on the other side, we've got uh, the connection to the base of the the piezoelectric generator. Um, there's a small spring which uh, pops in there, which then just makes contact with that centre prong. So we'll be trying to remove this. Uh, yeah, it's not really held in with anything. Yeah, and that's something I'd feared. Okay, yeah, so this is a, a, a metal cylinder. Um, there's obviously a set screw here, uh, probably to hold things in place. There's a, a hex nut here with a thread. So I could potentially take that out and take it apart, but I'm actually, on this occasion, I'm actually reluctant to do that because um, um, I would imagine things like this inside are pretty um, delicate and not really um, conducive for being taken apart and then put back to get back together and expecting it to work. Um, you can see on this centre electrode, um, there's uh, some clear insulation around it. So uh, I'm a bit disappointed by that, to be honest. I was hoping I'd be able to actually see the pizza. Um, um, elements and how they were, how they were actually uh, compressed or stressed to gener generate the uh, um, the electrical current to, uh, to charge these uh, these pens, but uh, that's not going to be the case. I am tempted, but um, I actually do want to keep this in a working state for the moment. Uh, but uh, maybe I'll be persuaded otherwise. Right, uh, let me just put this back together.
okay uh, that's the end of this video um, if uh, if there's enough people want me to take apart the pizza electric device in this um, and, and take it apart properly extreme teardown style then um, I might I may do that if there's enough people interested um, but um, at the moment that's uh, that's the end of that one um, so if you found this interesting hit the like button that's cool um, any comments or anything leave those in the comment section um, and I'll see you on the next video